Hey guys, welcome back. This is still going to be continuing off Season 8, but we're now currently on Version 9. Um, as you can see, we're currently at one of the brand new villages right here. So our base is over here. And uh, so we just came over here to this village. We're going to check it out, go ahead and clear it. We're going to re-clear the other ones we already did, just to make sure we don't miss any blueprints, because they all respawned. So while we still have the blueprints, for anybody who hadn't logged in yet to play Version 9, while you still have the blueprints, there's two new ones, the Circular Saw and the Waterhouse. Uh, so we'll have to find those, but every village is repopulated, so there's duplicate blueprints now, so you'll just have to go grab those uh, as you search. But this is one of the new villages. I went ahead and cut down all the trees. Foliage is currently turned off. Vambies are currently turned off. Just so if anybody wanted to see the layout of the village. I probably, I don't know if I'll do this again, because I've done it for all the all the other the villages, the, last, the three originals. But it takes hours to cut down all the trees, then delete them, or harvest them so they get deleted off the map. Uh, we're not going to jump down, fall damage, and all that good stuff. So if you had, like I said, if you haven't played yet, um, no more jumping off high ledges. This story is like 15, or tower is like, I don't, know, I don't know, maybe 10 stories high, something like that. You will not survive the fall. Or if you do, you'll have a broke leg. So we've got a little cart right here. We can just get rid of some of this garbage. Actually, let me go ahead and... So if you, don't, if you want to get rid of the logs, the quickest way is just to harvest them. Because if you hit destroy, then you have to... Uh, click OK after that, and uh, we've got the crates. There it goes. But it's, I have crates over here somewhere. Um, I'm not gonna loot the village. I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna go look at the buildings, and then I'm gonna reload the game with Fambies because, as y'all know, I like to find default settings after we get rid of this wolf here. If I can aim, of course. But I just want to make sure we take a look at the buildings and we see if we have anything that looks cool or new. I mean, we've got furniture on the outside. Besides that, everything pretty much looks the same. I mean, he's just added more stuff. This village, to me, after cutting down all these trees, does seem to be spread out more. The houses definitely look larger. And then we still have the typical military-style warehouse buildings over here. I have not gone into anything. I've not looted anything yet. Like I said, I'll do that with the Vambies on, which is going to be in this video. I'm just going, I just wanted to look around really quick. We had a little bit of daylight left. So like this area would be kind of cool if you wanted to build in a Vambie village, because you could build inside of here maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you blocked this or not, but I think the last time I checked, you could actually... I don't know why I tried placing that. But, okay, yeah, so you could build in here if you wanted to. I mean, you could build from here to that building, wall it off. I'm pretty sure we still can't put anything inside these on the floors. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can. So, yeah, you could build into there. I don't believe the Vambies can walk through these, so that'd be kind of cool. I might do that myself. And then you just build, like, a wall or something in between. You can build into these, but, I mean, it's kind of pointless since there's no walls. So, what is this? Is this the same as everything else? Yeah. So, it looks like you pretty much took the formula from the other buildings and just reloaded those. But I'll probably wait for daytime to come back, and then we'll, like I said, we'll clear the village properly with Vambies. Um, these things are cool looking to me because <laughs> these were like logs on the ground and then you can tell he's he's like you know multiplied it by a thousand times its size so now we have these giant ones. Oh wait I can't stand on that. Yeah okay we still still can't do anything with these though we just we can hide in it you know. But besides that this is the village and the layout. If anybody was interested in that will it like like I said, I did cut down all the trees, so there's tons of trees here. Don't expect your game to look anything like this one. But there are, I mean, I don't even know, but this, this village does seem to be a lot larger than the other ones. And the houses are definitely bigger. At least some of them. So with that, we're going to wait for the sun to come back up. Then we'll re-enable Vambies and Foliage. And we will raid the village. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and get started on clearing out this village. So, it seems really dark in here today. Oh well. Alright, so we head down the stairs. We're going to go down here and start clearing the houses out. The Vambies are back on. I've seen a few wandering around aimlessly below me. I'm not sure where they've all gone to. But uh, nothing like the present to find out. I've yet to fight one of the new ones yet that throws knives or the ones that evade. So we're going to see how this goes. I've decided to go ahead and leave foliage turned off just so we can see everything better. Let's see, crates are empty, ready to go. Let's grab a cart. 
Oh, there we go. I see one coming this way. So for anybody who's just joining us, this is on version 9. We can now loot the towns every 10 days. If you're trying to loot a town for more loot after it's supposed to respond up to 10 days, you will have to save the game, log out, and log back in for the stuff to respawn. Alright, house number 1. Let's see what we've got. So I did not bring a torch this time. I wonder if I should go grab one. So we've got electrical parts, fat, um, maybe we can find what we need to build one. I can't remember. I think it's like, what, two plant fiber and a stick? Let's see, Adampedia, torch. Five fiber, one stick. Let's just, uh, let's make one really quick. Where's, where's the small tree? So we're going to harvest these logs just to make sure they disappear. I think that it's, uh, if you're like cutting out a bunch of trees in your game, you're not getting rid of all the logs, I think it'll help you if you're having any type of load issues. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of this. That can go away. Shouldn't need that anymore. And then we'll build us a torch. Now this way, I mean, it's... 7 a.m. so we should be able to see fine but inside it's kind of dark let's go ahead and close the door behind us all right what do we have i'm gonna leave all the animal fat behind and the bones i have plenty of that already just gonna take important things like that was plastic we're gonna grab these bandages we'll take the empty cans even though we don't really need any more definitely gonna take the clay just to make life a little easier Let's double check up here since the latest update. Make sure there's nothing floating around. Yep, so it looks like that area is empty. Now I'm not going to put a marker. Wait, was that a tree that's cut down? That's just what we had, okay. So I'm not going to put a marker behind here because I don't want to overload the game of blueprints. So when I don't find blueprints, I just put fence or gates down to mark that the house has been cleared. These new villages seem a little bit larger and the houses to me look a little larger, so... I'm just going to make sure we're good on all of that. So you've got some iron ore, some clay. Uh, I guess we can take the tallow. We don't really need it, but we can make some bandages, I guess, to get rid of some of the extra stuff. Glass, we're not going to take it back. I'm not worried about seeds. Pretty much we just want ore and valuable items like plastic, electrical parts. Because it's time to tech up. I still haven't added any tech yet. And we'll take the dry brick. So with all the new village or the new villages and stuff, you know, all the blueprints have respawned. There's gonna be two per village now. So it's gonna be a lot easier to probably miss stuff. Spoiled food, we can take that. I'm gonna take some screws. And that looks like it's going to be it. So let's go ahead and mark this on both sides. Oh, I guess he just threw a knife at me. Well, come on then. <sighs> yeah, we'll just keep moving through the village, like I said, clear all the houses as fast as we can. This one seems a little barren.
Some medicated bandages. What else we got? More mechanical parts. More tallow. Some old food. I'm going to take that just because I need more old. We've got currently running six extractors per mineral type. So we're going through old pretty quickly. All right, so this house looks pretty good. Check the front. More seeds. It's not that big of a deal if we miss any valuable loot. Like I said, everything will respawn. We're close to three villages, so we can get plenty. Looks like he's got a knife. A little shiv. Tallow, copper ore. Glass, spoiled food. Electrical parts, medicated bandages, that's good because I was getting low. It's been a while since I crafted anything. Guess we'll head back this way towards the uh, warehouse style buildings. Let's see, we'll take the biofuel, more screws. They'll probably get rid of that rope. Looks like we're going to be good here, so on to the next one. Gonna leave the fish oil behind because we can just make that if we want it. Pretty simple craft. Here's a blueprint. We've got the fridge tech. So it looks like in the new villages we can find the old blueprint, so it's still gonna be random. Just hoping to find just the new ones here first. I will take the bone shards because I still need to make some spears and arrows. Then we're going to mark this with the foundation as a building that we know for a fact we already found one blueprint in because I've never found more than one blueprint in a building.
Can't leave those zombies alone because they'll probably just respawn. I don't want to run out of arrows. More seeds we don't need, some iron ore. Anything over here? Rope. Yeah. Don't really need rope. It's like a freebie. Take some Kevlar. Maybe we get some armor made finally. Nails, always good. Got a lot of shelves to build. Some cloth. Let ore, I guess we can take that. We might need it. Now that we have storage space or some stuff. And that looks good. I'm not going to go back through all the villages we've already cleared um, for a video. I'll just do that on my own time. Moving to the military side of the, of the camp or the warehouses. Let's see some bandages, clay, bone shards. They stack up to 50. More lead ore. Potato sprout we don't need. More tallow, yay. Alright, here's the second blueprint. It's gonna be the loom. Again, we already had that, but we're gonna gather this here. So that means that this village is clear of all blueprints. We don't need the coal. Now we just need to loot and clear it out. Get some plastic, some electrical parts, some mechanical parts, it'll help us out a lot in the long run. Marking it this way when you find a blueprint also means that if you forget what villages you found blueprints in, you can just come back and do a count of the foundations you have laid out. So you'll know you already have the two there. So these buildings are empty on this back side, like I showed earlier. Where's it at? Is it inside? <sighs> Med kit, dry brick, official, we don't need. Plant fiber off the body. Nails and cloth. Moving right along. <sighs> Sometimes they won't aggro you um, if you're like behind them or something. So 
take every advantage we can get. Hey, where's my? Some iron ore to keep us going. Should help with our crafting a lot. Ugh, I don't know why I keep picking up coal. And yeah, I'm still marking buildings. I just want to make sure that if for some reason I'm missing something somewhere, I'll be good to go. In case something does something weird like loads more than two in one, one village. Upstairs, bandages, more ore. Med kits, always good, especially now that we can drown and die so easily. Bone shards, iron ore, animal fat, screws, bone. And just knocking them out. And it looks like we have another house that's just empty. It didn't spawn any uh, furniture and stuff. A lot of times if you look around, you'll find things floating like right here.
All right, another house is good to go. Let's go and mark it out. But like, I feel like these villages are a little bit bigger though. It definitely seems more time consuming. All right, bone shards for days, more clay. I mean, that's like, we're not gonna have a lot of building to do at this rate. For our lot of crafting, we'll have so many supplies. By the time we go back through every single village. Med kit, I always like those, some nails, some fragments. I wouldn't call that good. Once you find the two blueprints, I mean, you don't have to be perfect unless you just feel like you really need something. Did I forget to mark both of those doors? Yep. I see you, I see you. Some lead ore, copper ore, shrimp. Rope we don't need. Seeds. Take a can because we definitely need to get our food and health, our stamina and health back up. I died. <laughs> so I died once from drowning. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot about the new oxygen. I remember if you get stuck on these stairs when you're trying to go up, just jump. But uh, yeah, I died from drowning, and I found out that if you respawn after you drown, you'll still take damage, so you'll have to save and reload. So I need to check and see if anybody's put in a patch note or anything for that yet. I don't know that they have. And besides that, I've almost died a couple times from fall damage, just from running to go collect from my extractors. All right, so maybe uh, maybe it's not as big as I thought. Maybe we're uh, looks like we're almost there. Some mechanical parts, dry bricks. Always double checking my shelves just in case. Can tallow, bone shard, garbage, garbage. Nothing on the couches, nothing on the chairs. It's like never anything in the small bathrooms usually. I don't think I've ever seen anything inside one of those. Screws and nails are kind of hard to see at times. I will take those just because I don't want to waste all my ingots, 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 whatever you want to call them. Keep, people keep <laughs> notifying me on YouTube that they pronounce it a different way. I'm pretty sure it's ingit, like with an E. I'm gonna have to get on to uh, Google or something or find a dictionary and look up the actual pr pronunciation so y'all quit picking on me. Maybe we'll have a vote and see, uh, see how everybody pronounces it. All right, more Vambies wandering around aimlessly. Some fat we'll leave on the table right there. So it looks like this side is in good shape. I think we have, what, this small house right here, and that'll be it, won't it? And you can see the Vambies are spawning back in or showing back up. I'm not sure how that works. I feel like they spawn like every five minutes or so. I really need to get my stamina up.
And it looks like this village is good. So uh, the next episode, we'll probably go to another one of the brand new villages and clear it first. Then grab the cart. But I think we're finished here. All right, who's screaming at me? Is it the crawler? All right, so that's going to be it. So this is the village located right here. Base is currently over here, so we're going to head back to there. The next one we'll clear will probably be this one since it's the next closest one. And then from there we will head to, where's the next one? Way over here. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. As always, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. I hope you all are enjoying this new update. Um, as you see here, you can actually edit these crates and put names on them. And call them whatever you wish. I have not done that yet because these are just crates on the on the log cart. You can pull the log cart in case you're wondering what I'm doing now. We're just pulling it. You don't have to push it anymore so you can see clearly now. But uh, yeah, with, so with the new update, major things to note. Just oxygen, fall damage, oxygen while underwater. Uh, new Vambi attacks. You can pull the cart instead of push the cart. You can name the chests. And I think that's pretty much all the major stuff. But like I said, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.